You too. What's going on? This is Preacher. So I'm at a Petro to get my um, alignment done on my truck. Our terminal in Lakeland does not do any alignments. So I had to come over to a um, Petro to get it done. So I'm going to be here basically for the rest of the night and sleep in here because they have about six trucks ahead of me and I have four hours left. That means they're not going to get to me till sometime around maybe 11, 12 o'clock tonight and I'll be out of hours so really can't go nowhere. But it is okay. So the first part of this, it was pictures. Um, you know how when you go, well, if some of y'all don't, when you go inside of these truck stops, they have um, these him magazines where you can look at and it has like job seekers and it has trucking information in there um, they have stuff like this in there um, and it has like a list of companies that are hiring and in it I was showing you pictures of the hiring area some of them is, is colored in now that hiring area, what that means is if you stay in one of those states that they're not hiring in, that means you can't work for that particular company. So a lot of times people will get on and they always say, hey, well, won't you just go to another company or or the company I'm in, I make this, this much a week and everything like that. But when you do your research, your research is they company where they work at may not be hiring where you are working at. So they may have a great deal in the area where they're staying at. Now I stay in Florida, so I showed you some. Most of them had it where I'm showing you that they don't hire in Florida. Some of them, um, you see they don't have hire on the California area. Some in the um, middle of the state. So it all depends on where you stay at where these trucking companies have. So when you're doing your research on a trucking company, you're doing your research of the trucking companies that hire in my area where I stay in. That's where you start off first. Then you try to find the trucking companies that are going to fit your needs, not nobody else's needs, but your own individual needs. Some trucking companies pay more per mile, but they pay less in benefits. So you got to do your math on that okay uh, like me I have a family so I need uh, medical benefits and not just any type I need accidental I need vision I need dental in hospital stay critical illness I need the whole shebang band that covers all my family even my accidental cover with my kids so that way I have some type of funds that's going to be helping me out in the situation uh, any medical situation I'm in some companies don't hire that, so that's what I mean by you got to do your research. Okay, I'm home from my job three to four nights out of the week. Okay, because I can I can do um, pass throughs and I'm able to stay at home at night, then wake up early in the morning and continue on my way. And sometimes the loads is actually in the city that I stay in too, so that always helps out a lot. On that note. But then I'm home Sunday all day and I'm not back out again until Monday afternoon when I come out. But I'm home between 3 and 5 o'clock Saturday afternoons. So I'm able to see my family four days out of the week and spend some significant time with them, especially on the weekends because my kids don't have school on the weekend and my wife doesn't work on the weekend. So that's what I mean by do your research. You can look at some comments and everybody be like, well, I make this where I'm at and I make this where I'm at. Yeah, but where you at, they may not be hiring where I'm at or where you stay at. So it's not that easy just to jump ship and just go with another trucking company. Yes, um, some of us that has months or years of experience, it's easier for us to get into another company. That's the easy part. It's easy to find another job. It's hard to find another job that's going to fit your needs and your family needs. That's the hard part of it. To jump ship and to just jump ship, hey, I just can't jump ship, you know. When you got a family, you got other things to worry about. Other people's situations may not be your situation. 
your situation could be from everybody else's situation. Everybody else probably can jump ship and easy for them to start all over and not have a check for one or two weeks while they're looking for another job or anything like that. But then no guarantee when you get to that other job, you're going to like it as well. So then you may have to jump ship again. Me, if I make a move, I try to make sure it's the right move. Do my due diligence, do my research, find out all the information I need to find out. Like I say, some companies pay more into benefits than others. So it doesn't make a difference if another company going to pay you three cents or four cents more per mile than you was making at another place. But with all the benefits you need, they only going to cover 10, 15, 20% of that. And you had a company that covers 50% of that. So by the time you do the math, all right, well, I'm going to be paying all this money in benefits yeah i'm getting paid more per mile but i'm actually making less money because i'm paying more money in benefits than i actually am making you gotta do your total research man total research so that's why i just want to show that because like i say everybody hiring area is not the same i always try to tell people this i stay in florida so if your company hiring in florida then fine send forth the information and stuff but it's easy to be like where you, where I work at where my company pay this well your company may do pay that and you may be in the hiring area where that company is some companies they local jobs make a lot of money a week where I stay at the local jobs don't make a lot of money because they have uh, about five six trucking schools there they get a lot of people straight out of trucking school stuff so they can afford to pay everybody real low because they got a lot of people and a lot of people want to come out of school and do what work local all right so for me to make 750 800 dollars a week that's not enough considering i have to have insurance and everything taken out of that by the time i have insurance and 401k stuff taken out of that okay i'm looking at a 400 maybe 450 dollar a week check and i was making more than that cooking before I got inside the truck. So I'm not finna go down out of in the amount of money that I'm making. I'm trying to come up in the amount of money that I'm kind of making. And trust me, at least all the local jobs in the area. So the next best thing is to get another job where you home weekly. So when I go to look for a home weekly, that's what I do. I look for all the jobs where you home weekly and then how much they pay and how much they pay towards their benefits, how much they pay towards their 401k. So it's a lot of information when you got family that you have to worry about taking care of, when you got bills. I mean, real bills, not just a little cell phone bill. I'm talking about some real bills when you got like mortgage payment, water payment, electric payment, cable payment, cell phone bill payment, car insurance, car note. You need some Benjamins, man, right? All right, man. So, when you're coming out here, do your research. You hear a lot of people say all the time, do your research. So, yes, do your research on everything. And just don't jump on all these bandwagons. Take the information, call the people, do your research. All right? Always remember that, man. Do your research.